Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something very different, something that I've, one, never filmed, and two, I've never been successful with. So why not do it, you know, again on film, whatever, right? We're good. I'm going to be setting up my Archer and Olive um, journal for November using this Coco Daisy kit. Um, it's almost everything that you could have gotten. If you hadn't seen my whole video, I will link it down below. You can go back and see all the stuff that I got there for this. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to just dive in. And so what you see here is um, I'm setting up my monthly spread. And so I outlined everything in pencil first. And yes, I write really dark. I can't help that. Um, but really, you know, you can't see it once I have the, um, what, what kind of pens am I using there is like the micron, micron pens. There you go. Anyway, you can't really see it, but I did have some, um, little pencils I wanted to erase. And, um, so I'm going to pull out some of the rub-ons here. And so I'm just like kind of trying to see where everything's going to fit. And rub-ons are kind of a new thing for me. I did use them in the October kit some and um I think one of the other kits before that the photography one that um you know Coco Daisy had for September and it, it's definitely taken me a while to get used to but I really do like how they look once you know I can get it all the way um in my planner I, I have this hard time getting the entire design rubbed onto the paper and so you'll see me you know kind of check and like have to go back over and make sure and i've actually found that using my metal tweezers works a lot better than the wooden popsicle stick type thing that they give you um or maybe it's just me maybe i'm just really challenged anyway so i'm just adding little pops of deco here to my monthly spread and this monthly is going to be for everything. Um, so I'm not going to separate this out for like personal or work or business or whatever. This is going to be literally everything. And uh, I've already started filling it in. I um, don't show it here, but I have already started filling it in and I'm not elaborating on the plans that I put in there, right? Um, like if I have a meeting, I just put meeting. I don't put, you know, what time and what it's for and everything. That part goes under, you know, my work part. Um, anyway, so here I am, I am doing my title page for November and I really loved this green color for one of the papers. And so I'm going to use that as a base and then I'm pulling out some of the, um, die cut stickers and, um, you know, that I liked and I am, yes, I am ripping the paper. I really like that ripped edge look. And so I just went for it. And I cut in um, the middle so that it makes it easier for me to, you know, turn the page and everything and um, trimming out the edges so that they, you know, are nice and rounded like the paper and everything. Um, and then I'll find one of the, uh, what is it called? Um, like dashboard kind of things, I think Coco Daisy calls them. Um, I, I added all of those postcard size um, sheets to this order. So that's what this November is, is one of those postcard things. And I'm a little disappointed that, um, the November is on like the other side of this is the calendar. You'll kind of see it when I flip it over, when I cut it and, you know, put the tape on the back. Um, but I would have liked to have used that in, on a different spread, the, um, the calendar part, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, and so I kind of bend this a little bit here to find where I'm going to need to cut it because I, I almost didn't. And then I decided, you know what? No, I am going to cut down the middle of that so that it just lays nicer in my planner. And I know that I didn't cut it straight because I don't want it straight in my planner. I, I liked the kind of um, on an angle look that I had there. But anyway, let's see. Yep, there you go. You see the calendar there. I would have loved to have used that in another spread, but unfortunately, and they didn't have it um, in on another sheet. So that's another thing is like the paper that they give you, they make sure that they give you two of each um, if you're getting that particular um, 
thing. Um, uh, what is it called? Um, words are escaping me. But if you get the subscription that has the papers, they give you two of each. So if you want to use both sides of a piece of a paper, you can. Um, but for those postcards, they don't. They just give you one of each, which uh, whatever. Okay, fine. Anyway, so here I am. These die cuts are stickers. And so that's very nice. It's very helpful. Um, I was a little challenged getting the backing off of some of them. So I use my tweezers for that. But I really love how this she um, this spread turned out with um, the green and everything. I, I just, I'm in love with it. It's one of my favorites. Um, I'm also a little biased toward November. It's um, by far my favorite time of year. I love the fall. I love all things fall. I love Thanksgiving. Uh, my birthday happens to be in November, which that's not exactly why I love it so much. Um, I, um, I don't really do a lot for my birthday, so it's not like a big thing. But anyway, uh, here I am. So this is one of my, uh, what should I call it, work spreads. So I decided to do scheduling on one half of the page and then a to-do list on the other half. And here I am just flipping through all of my sheets and there are a lot of stickers. I like, if you saw my haul video, I got a lot just because I knew I, I loved this theme that they did and I loved the colors in it and everything. Um, I just, I wanted to, and I knew I was going to use a lot of it. I was going to do um, a whole journal setup for like an all-in-one journal kind of thing in this art journal of notebooks. So I just, I wanted as much as I could get, but I was kind of overwhelmed with everything, um, especially because I have a lot of the same date covers, but um, some of them have white, like are on white sticker paper. Some of them are on clear sticker paper and some of them are bigger than others. And I just really didn't know how I wanted to go about this. And so there I ended up swatching out the Tombow, excuse me, the Tombow brush pens that I have. And so I just keep flipping back to that page to see what colors of the stickers will match, um, like different of the markers and everything. So, um, I think I'm going to get into it pretty soon. Um, do, 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 you know, while I sit here and him and haw over like which sticker to use, you know, but again, I outlined everything in pencil and here I am just going over it in the, um, micron pen. And so on this one, I didn't use the roller to go with the, um, the pen because it didn't really want that perfect look to it. Um, just, I had the boxes drawn in there first because I just wanted a, an idea of where everything was going. And then I ended up using these large clear number stickers for the dates from the Coco Daisy kit. And it's okay. I'm not overly thrilled about it. Maybe if I had centered those in the middle of each of the days instead of like up slightly, it would have been better. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, you see the parts with the boxes and the days of the week, that's my schedule. And then the middle portions were just all blank. That's my to-do list for uh, each day. So I can see um, what when my classes are and then I'll have what needs to be done. And so here's the next week, um, the third and fourth week of November. And so that one on the spread on the right that you're seeing, that is all Thanksgiving break. So we don't have classes Wednesday through Friday that week. It was a really short week. So I just put that down there. And I'm going to add more deco in here just because that since that is a shorter work week, I'm not going to have nearly as much going on. I won't have as many to do's. So I do add um, extra deco. And I actually don't have this journal in front of me right now to tell you what that quote says. Um, funny enough, I it's taken me forever to get this video edited. And not because I didn't want to, but just because I've been having some serious issues with the file. Um, so this video ended up being almost three hours. It's just shy of three hours unedited um, because it, it just took me that long. Um, I was so indecisive with a lot of stuff. And I, I, I know it looks like I'm just putting stickers down. 
Um, but it really did take me quite a while to decide how I wanted to do everything. Um, and that's not even counting the time it took me to pencil everything out. That took me a solid probably two hours to do that for all these different spreads. So like the monthly, my work, and now you're seeing um, my catch all like weekly spread here. And so this is for that first week of November, um, you know, which November 1st starts on a Wednesday. But so yeah, this is this is that week. And I have spread. Don't know what that was about. Sorry. Um, so I have along the top all the days of the week. And those are going to be for appointments and um, just, you know, if there's a to do for a specific day, I'll put it there. And then there's on the bottom, there's going to be a section for my social media content planning for cleaning and then for uh, notes or just random stuff. Now, yeah, I keep flipping back because I didn't know what colors I wanted to use. And I was looking at the teacups up at the top to see uh, which one I I thought would go with the teacups colors. Um, and anyway, so I had seen on Pinterest a spread kind of like this. Um, so this is this part I'm writing in right now is my social media content um, planner for just this week. And so I have on the left part there is going to be like what is getting filmed and whatnot. And then in the middle is going to be the day of the week that I um, post it and then on the right is where and then for the green heading is going to be cleaning and because I do all kinds of cleaning um, you know all throughout the week and it's not necessarily a day specific thing I decided to just do a checklist and so I'll write down all of the tasks that I normally do and then I'll check off on the days that I do it so no, not everything is going to happen on every single day. Like I'm not going to do laundry every single day, but am I going to do the dishes and wipe down the counters every day? Yeah. Um, so it just kind of helps me keep track of when I last did something that week and, um, you know, if it needs to be done. And then the last thing on the right and the bottom is just going to be my notes um, and just things to remember. And so here's the next week. It's the same layout. And I decided to use the stamps for the days of the week along the top. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to add a little bit of deco here and there, but it is, it is just the same spread. I think, did I use rub -ons here? I don't remember. Maybe we'll find out. I know I looked through a bunch of them. Nope. I'm using the stickers. It looks like um, so yeah, I do like the variety in the sizes and types and paper type variety that they give you in, um, all of the different sheets and it all just depends on what kind of kit you get. So like the journaling kit, uh, journaling bundle have a lot of the clear stickers and the rub-ons, whereas like the planner kit has the, um, has the the white stickers and everything and I apologize if like you can hear stuff right now I'm actually sitting in the back end of my car right now doing this voiceover because we are at my in-laws and my children are going crazy inside of the house and uh, my you know father-in-law is grilling and my husband just pulled up because he just arrived um, we came earlier in the day so the girls could have more time with Mimi and granddad and my husband had to wait until he was off of work to be able to come down. And so for this week in my planner, what I'm doing is we're supposed to be going camping uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of this week. And I completely forgot that when I was laying everything out. And so I wanted an extra place to do like packing lists and extra reminders. And so that's what this is. And I didn't put anything on the back side of that card with the teacups, but I can always put sticky notes and whatnot if needed. Um, but yeah, the rest of the layout for this week is completely the same. And of course, because my husband just pulled up, um, both children had to come out and <laughs> come out and greet dad and enjoy all of the fun things. Um, so here I am, I'm putting in a few more of the embellishments, some more of the stickers make it pretty. Uh, but I love how functional this layout is. 
which is why I'm doing it for each week this month. We'll see how I actually like it though once we get into the month. Um, I, watch, like after the first or second week, I'm absolutely gonna hate it, and but I'm gonna be stuck with it for the rest of the month. Um, anyway, so for this week, this is the week of Thanksgiving. And so I made a Dutch door here where I have space to put um, extra packing lists because we are going to be visiting uh, my in-laws for Thanksgiving and um, you know, what kind of things do we need to plan for Thanksgiving? What kind of things do we need to pack? Like what else is going on? Um, Cause we're gonna be here most of this week. Um, I actually think we're gonna be here the whole week. Um, go straight from camping, at least the girls and I, go straight from camping to my in-laws instead of going back to Virginia because um, we will be camping in uh, Western North Carolina and my in-laws live in Eastern North Carolina. So we'll see. Not sure what we're going to do there. But anyway, I, I liked how this Dutch door turned out because I don't necessarily um, need to see the entire weekly spread all at one time, but I would like to see the cleaning list and the content plan um, no matter the day. And then there I'm just adding in Thanksgiving and um, our dog's birthday is actually on Thanksgiving as well, which is exciting. And so I'm putting that in there too. Um, and I am, I'm really excited with how this turned out. I do have several tracking pages that I need to um, get done and film as well for you, which I'm going to try to do that this week. Um, but I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this and, you know, just seeing uh, my process and how I do everything. I am by no means um, experienced in any of this. I am just, I've looked at Pinterest a lot and I've just picked out things that I thought, you know, looked good. Now here I'm deciding, did I want to do that? Anyway, so here's a flip through of everything. So this is the work portion. And then I like that little divider there. And then this is my personal portion. And thanks so much for joining me guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.